The linguistic landscape, engraved in ordinary places and pervading our everyday lives, has become a visible sign of multilingualism and of the power struggles within it. Exploring this linguistic landscape has been shown to help teachers and students challenge ideas of language hierarchies and prestige, as well as to engage in meaningful conversations related to their own identities. Drawing on these principles, which put social justice and equality at the center of language education, and committed to finding solutions for the challenges the social actors are facing, a group of European researchers got together to bridge theory and practice, hence the local project was born. LOCO, which stands for Local Linguistic Landscapes for Global Language Education in the School Context, is a three-year Erasmus project which started in September 2019. The project is coordinated by a group of researchers and academics from five European universities in Hamburg, Aveiro, Barcelona, Groningen and Strasbourg. LOCAL aims to promote students and teachers' language awareness through collecting, analyzing, and pedagogically using linguistic landscapes, LL. In particular, the project aims to bridge indoor and outdoor school activities, involve youth in the active discovery and dissemination of LL, and educate teachers on how to deal with linguistic superdiversity in language education. The project puts students and teachers from all levels of education, but particularly from secondary schools, at the center of education and research processes, regarding them as social actors, but also as co-ethnographers and experts on allowing their own environment. Other key principles of the project are related to the relevance of a pedagogical use of LL to promote the valorization of students' linguistic repertoires, contribute to the development of critical thinking and global citizenship, and foster a sense of belonging. The project expects to develop four intellectual outputs, namely multimodal models on LL, a library tutorials on how to use LL and podcast sharing experiences, an app for mobile learning, and finally guidelines for the introduction of LL in language learning and teacher education. The project also foresees the development of short-term training weeks taking place in different partner cities. Due to the current pandemic, this year's training week was fully online, which allowed the presence of more participants from all over the world. Among the several tasks participants were invited to take part in are the production of what he called a Coronascape video, in which they engaged in the discovery of multilingual homescapes, and the participation and discussion forum, where they commented on the models produced so far, shared their own experience with LL and reflected on its pedagogical value. Preliminary results of the training week suggest that it is fundamental to listen to teachers as social actors, as they can bring in really interesting and more inclusive definitions of LL, such as this participant tells us, that include minorities such as Braille or sign language users. So if you want to know more about this project, please check our website and follow our regular updates on ResearchGate. See you soon.